Yeah. Big like fucking how, difference. I like how I said though. shush. And weird. We were it weird that the guy who's hold been on, editing hold on, for... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's kicking it up. Damn it. Yeah. Fuck you in your fucking ghetto blasting ass system. You know what? It just kind of adds to the effect that we're recording in the parking lot of a movie. Yeah, well, that's kind of becoming the new thing of this. Uh, which, um, honestly, I think this should just be how we do our movie reviews from now on. I, I think, yeah, for the most part. Yeah. At least movies. TV shows, obviously. Yeah, that'll be a more... meet up, Unless you just want to meet up in this parking lot. <laughs> like I watched, I watched the first episode of fucking Altered Carbon. Why are we here? Well, why did we have to all come all the way out? I didn't even have to leave the house to watch that. the fucking show. Why did I? Why, why did, did, I why did we come to the theater to talk about the show that we all were just in the living room watching? <laughs> we just all just got in a van, the same van and drove to the fucking theater just to talk about it. Oh yeah. Well, why, why would you have here? Hush. Save the conversation till we get to the fucking part. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to do the intro here. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sort of My Podcast. My name is Vincent Herman, Vin the Human, sitting to my left. James Odell, Alpha Spectre. And in the back seat, Mr. Bob Collins. Boba Fett. Guys, real quick, if you can go over and like our Gurn News page, Sort of My Comics, and our uh, Sort of My Brand page on Facebook, uh, we really appreciate that, as well as following us on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're here, or uh, follow us on SoundCloud if you're there. Uh, or follow me to the store when I go get beer. Yeah, well... Uh, I need a friend. <laughs> that's why you're drinking the beer. That's why I brought beer. It's the only way I can get friends. <laughs> <laughs> and all our personal social media is down in the description below. Uh, thank you for joining us on another sort of hour review. Uh, I guess we just finalized the idea that we're going to do this from now on yeah. after we see a movie. So. Uh, just just for movies because we've decided that it doesn't we, work. It doesn't work for shows. shows. Like, hey, I just watched this really cool episode <laughs> on Netflix. Let's drive to the movie theater and talk about it in the parking lot. Because <laughs> yeah. well, that makes now, sense. Now, the end of the fucking world was discussion worthy. Have you watched that yet? No, it's on my it's on my list. Becky's watched some Watch of it. it. You're gonna like it. I'm, I'm, and it's like it it's like eight episodes. They're like twenty minutes a piece, dude. Mm-hmm. You'll burn through that in an afternoon. You do it. This I haven't weekend. even finished uh, comedians and cars yet, and I went on a. Binge. Well, guys, don't morning. binge that, dude. Just dude, drink. I couldn't watch, help it. It was Watch good. that with your morning coffee. That's how I dude, was doing it. I don't it. have time it's in the, the mornings, dude. I wake up at like 4.30 sometimes. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're not here to talk about Netflix shows. No, We're no, here no, to no. talk about the newest internet cat video <laughs> sensation. <laughs> yeah. Well, Marvel had to get into the game somehow, didn't they? Uh, of <laughs> course, we're talking about Black Power, Black Panther. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That might get it out or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of being the one who says controversial shit on this podcast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you you should have just gave him that one. Not even mentioned anything. That way you can get on social media and be like, did you guys hear? Did you guys uh, hear all the controversy that Alpha Spectre said on this episode? <laughs> Alpha Spectre has been put on suspension. <laughs> uh, anyways, no. Uh, yeah, we saw Black Panther. It was awesome. I think we should do spoiler free. Uh, we'll, we'll give you guys a um, few minutes of spoiler free. Yeah, he was black and he dressed as a panther. Well, there you go. There you we, have it. No, that's not it's it had, like the, the cast overall. Okay. Yes. Uh, First off, great picks all around. Uh, I mean, okay, we already knew Chadwick Boseman was awesome. Yeah, but yeah. it was definitely good to see him a lot more than what we saw in the Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the surprising thing, the women in this movie yes. are just oh, yeah. top-notch badass. Bad. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought you were just going to well, say they're, they're top-notch actresses, but I was going to say they're all oh, bad, yeah. badass okay. characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not hugely versed in like the Black Panther, Wakanda universe. Neither am I. None of us really yeah. are. But I do Speak know for enough. yourself, <laughs> I'm not either. Well, okay. right. some of the listeners maybe, I've, but you know, their I've, warriors I've read, are their women. Yeah, I, I've read some stories with yeah. him, and I've but, read okay. the Ultimates, and uh, uh, I mean, he was a big prominent part of the Civil War and oh, stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, there are stories where I'm very familiar with him. But and I, I've read, I've read stories where he's been 
he was part of that story, and the only thing I believe I've ever read that was Black Panther related in it, like as its own title, I want to say it's called White, maybe White Panther. It, it's a storyline where his oh. sister has the mantle. Oh, I see. Well, his <laughs> sister Shuri. Yeah, she had the she, mantle, but she was. It was essentially the same costume. Oh no, yeah, I've seen but that. Yeah. Whenever she takes over, she's still Black Panther. There is a Marvel character called White Tiger. Me, uh, but it, yeah. that I'll, is I'll a, that's a martial out. arts character who teams up with Iron Fist every so. But often. I know for sure this is T'Challa's sister in the comic yeah. era because she mentions her brother T'Challa yeah. was the Black Panther. I sense a Phase Five character change. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So um, the cast overall is just phenomenal. It's a diverse cast of not just. Uh, Races, but attitudes. Yes. Uh, Claw was just entertaining. And not and just shit. like, oh, they had one style of African tribe in this movie. No, yeah, like, that when, was when they brought awesome. in all the all the other tribes, like they had they had ones with like the the lip plates. They've had yep, the, yep. the dude with the lip plate. And the dapper ass suits, right? Like, I fucking loved that. Man, he had he had, suits. he had a green jacket that fucking Dude. Edward Nigam, Enigma would cream his fucking yes. purple trousers for. Yes, him. I'm telling you, Bob. This, I, I swear don't know to who God, that guy is what his character's name is, but he he made that movie between for our I don't even know drink it. distribution and the shit we keep thinking that the other one ends up saying like we're just on point tonight but, really, yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah no yeah that it was a it was a really diverse cast um martin freeman uh getting to see a lot more of him we only yeah. got to and, see uh, him in civil war right there was a uh, yeah we saw him like shortly in civil war yeah and his character in this movie plays a lot bigger role than what i was expecting honestly right uh they yeah. really undersold that completely. yeah well that, but if you think, like, we get that a lot. Like, whatever we see in Marvel trailers is first act stuff. Except Very for stuff. Spider-Man Except Homecoming. Except for Homecoming. That's exactly <laughs> what I was about to say. <laughs> that that's, told you the whole... Like, I didn't even... That's, that's why, that I, that's why I didn't handiwork. watch the movie yet. Because I've already seen the movie... Condensed down have you like noticed? Two minutes. Have you noticed that th- Sony's next film, Venom, has Is had it, almost nothing? Dude, if it wasn't for that one shot of this of the fucking symbiote in the crawling in the tube, yeah. And then, oh, like, that little yeah, bit little of bit going like, up his neck or whatever. If it wasn't like that, know. it was just like, oh, this is a new just Tom Hardy action film. <laughs> so, yeah, right. okay, real quick, Okoye, yeah. the, the general. The general, yeah. I know, I knew that I recognized her. Okay. Knew that I recognized her. Michonne. Oh, Oh, that's Michonne. That's Michonne. That's why, that's what I I said. As soon as I showed her, I'm like, hey, it's Michonne. Like, okay. (laughs) Did y'all not know that? It was just like the mom, the queen. That's the same, that's the same, I can't remember what her, uh, what her name is. But she's the, the same woman that does the voice of the, the the queen in The Lion King. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my I god! Like, you know, it's a missed opportunity to have James Earl cast. Jones as, as you know, what I mean, the old black man. <laughs> yeah, uh, Odell was making those jokes by yeah. the way when they well, showed. Well, I mean, uh, whenever he went okay. to the Jockers. land of the ancestors or whatever yeah. it was, that was very reminiscent of that scene. Yeah, in like as when soon Mufasa as that came up, I'm like, sky. always remember. Or they showed the tree of all the panthers sitting in it. I was waiting for a baboon. <laughs> no, a baboon would just crack one of them with a staff. <laughs> yeah. No, no. One, one of the, the, the gorilla t'challa, tribe. Walks up to the T'Challa and just wipes fucking ketchup on his forehead. Or <laughs> and gives him a little cross on his forehead. See the bar. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Uh, this is CNN. Oh man! But, uh, okay, Go. going back, going yeah. back, going back. Uh, the story yeah. overall. What'd you guys um, think? The story I thought was actually really good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it it wasn't as basic as some of the other like first origin story mm-hmm. type of Marvel and movies. And especially for a movie that has a villain. Uh, once again, Marvel trope, the villain is, is pretty much essentially the, the hero. hero yeah. yeah, But the way it doled it out, it actually made uh, Michael B. Jordan's character a lot, uh, very, very... Um, uh, what's, well, that too, but uh, you could connect to him very easily. Yeah. yeah. Well, and he, I honestly, I liked his very, character and his acting 
even. In yeah, this movie, more yeah. than what I expected, and more than I have in some other movies, uh, aside from Creed, because I thought it was great in Creed. Yeah, well, the other movie you're referring to is Fan Four Stick, and I've never watched. <laughs> oh, you yeah, haven't? No, oh, haven't oh you're the, you guys are the lucky ones. Yeah, <laughs> I, I refuse still. No, like. Here's the thing. I, I try to at least find something enjoyable about no. every superhero movie, but fuck that movie from beginning <laughs> to end. No, and, oh, no, you, you can't say no. You just said you haven't seen it. But, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but let's talk about a better movie real quick. Yeah. Uh, the whole, I don't know if this was part of his, uh, his, his history or anything in the comics, but uh, Killmonger's essentially like Victor Zaz marks on his body. Yes, that, his kill that marks. It's also very reminiscent to like the the ritual scars of some of the African tribes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Which some of the other uh, yeah, characters yeah. in this film but, had, yeah. But yeah, like I was going to say, it was very reminiscent to some of those, but it also showed that like he's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. You know what Where I mean? those each other one ones... of those marks is supposed to be a death. Yeah. And the other, and the other tribes, thing I don't understand. I don't mean to keep cutting you off, but uh, both, as far as far as those marks go, the ones he has like three or four in his chest that are long. Are yeah. those just like that was a really tough well, death for me? I didn't or notice was that. It, yeah, yeah, like he had one. Like they're like, in a pattern, bridge like, right across the sternum, yeah, right in his, huh. right in his like, like, yeah, right there in the center. Huh. He has three or four that are longer than the rest. I was like, were those like boss huh? battles or? <laughs> Uh, but his compared to the, the, the other tribes. You see the other tribes, they have, like, maybe, like, 30, 40 yeah, on, dots, on their face or maybe on their arm. And they, they were small dots. The other tribes. Yeah. But he has, like... He's covered. He looks he's like covered. he took out his, chunks every time. His yes. arms, his chest, his back... I don't know if we really saw his legs or anything, but like I bet he's you his wieners all cut. And, and we'll yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll get uh well it's ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll get pleasure. more into Killmonger's kill marks later because that's spoilers. Uh, no, it's not the show in the fucking preview. No, 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 no. The There's a show. reason why it's in spoilers, uh, and okay. I'll bring that. I, up know, I thought you meant just like the reveal that he has killed. No, Marks. yeah, no, no that was they, totally they showed him taking his shirt off. And that's another thing. I wish they didn't show that in the trailer. And they didn't show that at all. Right. Whenever he first brought up the fact that, like, each one of these marks is a death, and he pulls up a sleeve, and you, if you just hadn't seen that and never it seen that shot in the trailer, you'd be like, effective. holy shit, right at that fucking uh, challenge battle. Which, yeah. by the way, those challenge battles were dope. Right? Yeah. Yeah, get to those. I'm, 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 I'm jumping that border <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they, if they would have saved that. It would have been a much better review. I think it's movie. it's fair enough because this movie did give us a lot uh, that oh, yeah. we weren't expecting. It, like mm -hmm. it, it, the trailer really undersold it this time. Oh, uh, time. Marvel doled it out we, perfectly for which this, which is kind of weird to say because that trailer fucking is exciting. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, yeah, it's a yeah. great trailer. Like the all of the car chases, and like the. The oh, city yeah. facts, the visuals, yeah. city scenes, how it was cut together, all in all, like I got super excited for this movie, and I was already excited for it. Right? Yeah. Every trailer I saw got me more excited for it. They <laughs> did it their job. Marketing did a good job, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I I absolutely agree. I, like, I, and I'm again, I haven't read too much Black Panther. I've never been a, like a huge like. Oh, I gotta read the next black panther issue but this really really did a good job selling me on it yeah uh the the character alone uh the way that uh and i said his name or chadwick, chadwick boseman yeah. uh sells him in this film like heartfelt and uh very ingrained in his people but you still see that twinge of the not the yeah, inner he's, turmoil going yeah on. he's not exactly sure what to do uh, and his African accent was pretty fucking great. Yeah, because he's yeah, he's yeah. from like South Carolina. Or I I mistakenly made and, a joke about uh, Michael B. Jordan not having one, and I was like, somebody didn't learn how to use their African accent. <laughs> and then you find and, out, and then you're like, oh, he's and, yeah. And then Odo pointed. <laughs> to him, he's well, like, it's because well, he's been in America. Okay, um, uh, Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> Hold his on. accent though was a bit over the top. Like he rolled his R's like he was of Spanish descent. I I noticed that too, and uh, he even dips like, into the American accent every now strip. and then. Well, rock Panther powers. You're just showing off that you can do it. Okay, I with, get it. With, <laughs> with stroke, I would agree. You got to cut him some slack. Okay. And I love that the guy that casted for young. Uh, I'm not even. Never mind. That's a little spoiler. <laughs> what will you do? When you become king. 
Uh, I know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where I was going with that. And I can't even mention it because it's kind of spoilery because it's kind of a, a reveal. <laughs> uh, okay, Any, uh, anything else we want to talk about non-spoiler? Like, I mean, just no, stuff to get out of the way. Uh, it was a good movie. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great movie. Like, if this is where you end the solid. podcast, uh, before we get into spoilers, Please go see it. You're only a few minutes Bef- in. Before we get into spoilers... What would you rate it out of ten? Um, out of ten, like on the scale of all Marvel films, or on the scale of all films? No, That's what just, I was about to ask. Just yeah. this movie on the scale it, of all films or Marvel films? Or on the scale of genre films? Marvel. Like, okay, yeah, okay. We'll just go like on the scale of Marvel films. films. Uh, I would say this is a solid seven point five. Maybe, maybe it could push eight, but like it, it, we'd be hard pressed. I'd have to pull through the inventory again and, and see what we've got but th- yeah this one's definitely up there just off the top of my head without even criticize trying to like find big things both sides i'd say probably close to an eight maybe eight five tops mm, okay. but like i said I, that's that's just off the top of my head fresh out of the fucking theater yeah that's right about where i'm sitting eight eight five uh, See, I'm weighing this. Uh, I'm weighing this against Winter Soldier. I'm weighing this against yeah, Civil yeah. War, uh, Iron Guardians. Man Two, Guardians. Yeah, I mean, there's so much stacked against it, like as far as quality goes, that it uh, like it diminishes that one point for me. It Thor sets Dark, me at a Thor Dark standard. World. Oh well, I mean, that's pretty much the one that saved the franchise, right? You, you can't that. compare anything to the, the one where ten I, of the series. The one where I can't remember the name of the villain ever. Malika. Malika. Why do you guys know this? He the wasn't only that is because important. Okay. I, I, I keep. I, I was tired of saying the the guy that the ninth Doctor plays in the second Thor movie. <laughs> Fair enough. Half the time reason I can't I, remember the ninth Doctor's name, which is Chris Eccleston, but the reason I know is because of a video game that I played, and he was a very critical villain in it. Okay, well that's a good excuse. I would have also accepted comic books, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I think we're ready to go into spoilers, right? Yeah. Spoilers. Okay. Uh, if you if you haven't uh, seen it, the you... Black Panther. Oh man, you didn't even let Everybody me get it up fully out there, the man. Thinks at the end, Bruce Willis is actually dead, <laughs> but also saves the world. Yeah. <laughs> from a giant somehow. From a giant vibranium meteor. They're also aliens. Yeah, from a giant asteroid. With Batman. <laughs> Him and Batman and working, working together. And Kingpin, actually. What kind of are aliens? And uh, then at the very end, at the after credit scene is Disney bought Warner Brothers. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Surprise. I cross over with your whole fucking child. Coming soon in Infinity War. Batman. <laughs> you got Cindy Lauper playing. You got Cindy Lauper playing the Goonies theme at the very end. <laughs> and you're, yeah, you're Josh sad. Brolin playing Thanos. And Cable, and his character from Goonies. He's play, pretty much any, and Jonah Hex, well, he's played I mean, them all. Well, I mean, you you had to only assume that with uh, with Chris Evans playing the Human Torch, and Boyfriend Number 2, and, uh, and Captain And not America. another teen movie character, whatever then, his name was. Um, uh, not Ch- was it Chip Weiler? I don't remember. I think it was Chip it's Weiler. Been, at least a decade since I've seen that movie. Uh, oh, and man. I should go yeah. back to it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, all right. so we we're digress. in spoilers. Yeah. All right. What I was going to say whenever I was about to spoil one scene was I love how they casted the young Forrest Whitaker with a guy with the same kind of eyes. Like the yes. eye group and all that? Yeah. yeah. And what's, okay. I, okay. The, the, the actor that played, okay, what's T'Challa's father's name? Is T'Chaka. I keep wanting to call him T'Chaka. Tachanga, like Tachanga. nice unison. Hot five. Well, that's the same actor that played him in Civil War, correct? Yes. Yeah. What Did I not his notice eyes? his eyes in Civil yeah. War? Right. It looked when like they... a child drew him. Bring it looked it... like a Picasso. <laughs> Bring it down just a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, okay. That's something I was very passionate when, about. <laughs> when they do the flashback to the scenes from Civil War, yeah, that's not there. At least did I didn't know. Did the actor have a stroke? That's what I was wondering. Because I was like, I don't remember. Because, well, because they show you, him. It's his left side. No. If, that might be possible. If they can CG sand onto T'Challa's face, because they did that, I noticed then that Then why shit. didn't they do then this? Then why couldn't they CG they, his eye? Dude, they didn't just do that. They CG'd 
the Black Panther in that first scene in the nighttime when he's taking yeah. out those guys. Once he's seen like all of that, not was CG. That, if, if every bit a, of that, was. if a mustache can be CG'd out. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, 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 uh, okay, let's not it, give it that much credit. If right. a mustache can be attempted to be CG'd out, <laughs> I, I had to. Okay, going. Okay, since we're on the subject of special effects, when Claw is sitting in the the in the interrogation room, mm-hmm. was it extremely noticeable to everybody else that his yes, arm wasn't was. actually gone? It just was edited out. Yeah, it, like, it, it looked. It really I don't was. know what it was. I yeah, keep I looking at it. The sleeve. I think yeah, the sleeve was too yeah. rounded. It wasn't. Yeah, flappy. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know what it was. Well, like, it was. It, looked, it was also moving unnaturally. It was kind of an uncanny valley type thing. I think it was and, moving with the the motion of his phantom arm that was. Yeah. There. And I, don't know, it, I don't know. It threw me off a little bit. Yeah, it was, it was a little odd. And I also didn't really Hell, dig Hell, Bucky Claw's... looked better with one arm. <laughs> yeah, right? At the end. Uh, I, I really didn't dig his, uh, his cl- like, his cannon uh, too much. It, yeah. It's the it's the hand the that, way that like, it appears. unsettles me, yeah. Like how it splits in half. And yeah, like, like if it was some sort of nanite thing where, like, the hand disappeared into the arm and it was just a cannon, totally cool. Because it was totally supposed cool. to be fucking Wakandan technology anyway, yeah. so yeah, that would have made more sense. But yeah. you got just these little fingers flopping around while he's shooting off his cannon. And it's just, well, the cannon's badass, and it's, whoa. And, okay, Like, the shit this thing can do. And as far as, as far as trying to think of stuff to criticize this movie about, there's only two things, one of which was just one specific line. Actually... Okay three words which is what are those oh my she god said that, yes like, god damn it that dates this and now, movie the only thing uh, you know now I mean? like, the only thing I and it's tr- already outdated the only that thing, joke is already outdated the only thing i attribute that to is uh and i have no idea the origin of this thing but jake paul and i fucking hate jake paul Who's jake paul Oh, you're the lucky okay, one. Okay, we're not going to go there. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, just real quick, I didn't even know now. Google him later. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, Google here's him later. what I attribute that to. Is he I like cringed. a football player? Is he a doctor? Just He's a YouTube word. star. Oh, Who's... is that is that the brother of the guy that posted the video of the fucking suicide? No, that is the guy who no, posted no, no, the no, video no, of the suicide. No, 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 that's not his name then. It's not Luke Paul. It's, uh, it's Jake Paul. No, it's Luke Paul. No, it's Luke Paul is his brother. Jake Paul is Jake, the dick. Luke, Luke is, is the one that posted the, the suicide video. No. Yeah, just, I'm telling you. I'm telling continue, you for, continue. for sure. Okay. What I understand that being in there because <laughs> it kind of gives you that whole they're still kind of a third world country. They're just a third world country with Unlimited resources. Well, no, I mean, if she wanted to crack a joke about his flip flops, that's fine. But like, and, and okay, I, I'm just like, sure, it dates the movie. I guess I don't know. There, I wouldn't necessarily uh, say it dates as it. a as as a father. And I'm gonna bust that one out. As a father of a 12 year old, I know it still gets said. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. Uh, So I don't really know that it dates it. It's just stupid. <laughs> I, I completely agree. But the fact that it was his younger sister saying that to him. And, and like how old the, is she supposed to be? I don't, I'm not entirely sure how much younger than him she is, but I know she has to at least be like. Are you wrong yet? Teens, early 20s. Logan Paul's the guy that posted the video. We we're both wrong. But, <laughs> but Fuck Jake Paul is Logan Paul's brother. Okay. But uh, Logan Paul's the guy that posted the video. Real quick, yeah. He's also the number number four top grossing fucking YouTuber of last oh, year yeah. at fourteen million dollars. No, bro. I fourteen okay. million dollars. I'm surprised that Fuck I forgot him. his name was Logan Paul and and not Jake Paul. Jake Paul, yeah, the, Jake Paul's yeah. his brother. But yeah. Jake Paul's his brother. Yeah, uh, uh, you know I don't want to talk anyway. about him anymore on yeah. the podcast. I, just, ever I, I, again. I had to like, figure it out. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Like we we were both wrong. So thank you for setting yeah. me straight. Now I know who to but call I knew it sort of bag. And now yeah. you know what all to edit out of this. No, yeah. that's dating. Because uh, fuck We're only Logan 23 Paul. minutes in, so why not? So now that, now that, get he's not, now that he's not making money from <laughs> yeah, YouTube now, now, I don't fucking care about it. All right. While, while I have a second, I brought it up to both of you guys while the movie was playing. I am pretty sure this is the first Marvel movie that started a scene, had a full scene, and then played the full Marvel credits, the full opening. Yeah, I am yeah. like, 
I'm, I'm like 95% positive. I'm man. pretty sure you're right. And I, since we're in spoilers, I, holy fuck, they just killed Claw. Like, it wasn't. Whoa, crazy. way to fucking just I'm jump. Sorry, it, it's just like, it, it, here's the topic. Head. Do you guys want to respond? But here's another no, topic. No, <laughs> fuck the title topic. Seriously, they killed Claw. Like, they've been building up since fucking si- since Ultron. That was a weird, like, it, it feels like I a didn't... waste, but it also feels so right in that moment. Like, the way like, that they it, played it, it, it out, it, yeah. I don't know. It just, it felt, it was like it was, one of those deaths that, like, even two or three scenes later, I'm like, okay, so was what? he really dead? Okay, think about Crossbones. Because I thought he was going to pull, like, a Dark Knight when he drug the body up, and Claw was, mm-hmm. like, and they opened it up, Claw was going to pop out, like, surprise, motherfuckers. <laughs> and, you yeah. Know, yeah, know. you're on to something think, there. Think Crossbones, yeah. though. They, they, they Yo, dropped they, a fucking building, building on him. him. He survived. <laughs> he yeah. comes back for the first, what, ten minutes of Civil War, and then yeah. he's fucking dead. Okay. Yeah, See, but now we now, saw him that, die though. If they did that, if they drop the fucking building on Crossbones and then bring him back, oh, you you do understand how entirely pissed I will be if they don't bring back Red Skull, even though they don't actually show him die. I know that's completely off subject. There's got to be plans. Fuck, for they that. better bring him back. But the uh, what's his name, dude that plays him, says he doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm like they oh, probably won't bring back they, Red Skull unless they recast. Which him. means they can never do Secret War, uh, Secret Empire, because that was like one of the biggest moments in that comic was when recasting. Fucking, Fuck it. Bro. Was they when recasted, yeah. You uh, know what? Yeah. People. Why not? Fine. Uh, I mean. You're right. They have recast before, and and it worked out perfectly for the Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hulk. They Brody. recast God damn, me and you, Bob. Me uh, and you, Stark, Bob. Tonight. Uh, We're on uh, that Howard way. Stark. Yeah. They fucking recasted. Um, yeah, they recasted fucking Rhodey. They recasted mm-hmm. uh, somebody else. Now, to be fair, a lot of these recastings are happened in the early except years. For Hulk. But oh yeah, yeah 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 early years definitely yeah all of them. So it's a little harder to do now, but because Red Skull was one of those earlier movies, I feel like they could get away with the recast. Well, not only that, but you're basically putting a red mask on someone, uh, sort of. But, yeah, but there was a uh, lot of performance that, in there. That, that played Red Skull. Oh, was Same it? Same guy that played fucking Agent Smith. Uh, yeah, he played Agent Smith. Everybody Elrond. Else, him. Uh, yeah, I keep want to say, like, yeah. Ivan or some, I something. Remember remember I can never remember his name. I can't think of his name. He's, like, even with all those prosthetics on, even with uh, it primarily being the Red Skull, you, you knew it was him. Yeah. It was all in the performance. It was oh, in the bravado of it. Even if he yeah. didn't say a word, his even you could you could still tell in his face. If someone's like, hey, that's so-and-so, you'd be like, oh, shit, that is. Yeah, yeah, totally <laughs> see it. It's kind of like Ron Perlman as Hellboy. Yeah. Well, which is weird because... Like, that's where I first... I mean, granted, I've seen Ron Perlman prior to that, but didn't know Ron Perlman, really. But, yeah. like, Hellboy was the distinct Ron Perlman for me. Then when I see him out of makeup, I'm like, you don't look much different. He's just not red. <laughs> yeah, he's granted, just, I never he's knew that he was Harry and Harry and the Henderson, so I've known him since I was a child. That's right, he him. was, yeah. And he also did the voice of uh, of uh, Clayface in... Uh, the animated series? Yep, Batman the yep. animated series. Yep. Uh, okay, so, so back uh, to this movie. <laughs> back so, to this uh, movie. We've been bouncing Killmonger. around a lot. Killmonger. Uh, that okay. We talked a little bit earlier about uh, how relatable his character is. How you can get on his level. And you and, feel bad for him. And the oh, re- yeah. well, let, let's map out the reason why. It, it's because he is actually Black Panther's cousin, the uh, the son of King T'Chaka, uh, uh, T'Chaka's uh, brother, yeah. little brother. Yeah, um, motivated. Which is, another, which is another T name, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, um, there were there were a lot I think of names. Was to something. And, and well, if we want to nitpick on this movie a little bit, there were a lot of characters that were dropped on us, like all yeah. of a sudden, yeah. um, and all with names that we would be lucky were, to pronounce. But they were all effective, though. Like yes. that. Like when usually when a movie just drops a bunch of characters on you, it's usually pointless, and they get stripped and tossed, and who cares? Marauders, the movie you got me for yeah. for Christmas, I, is a lot like that. Is it? <laughs> yeah. uh, don't don't worry, I had a great time watching. Okay. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, uh, they 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 utilized everyone perfectly. Um, but yeah, even, even not the bigger character. Even like I said, like going back to even just the, the like other young tribes and shit. Just having having certain or the 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 gorilla clan. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember Those what that guy's, guy's name was, so but like cool. uh, that the the king of that clan or yeah. the leader of that clan. He's actually in comics. I can't remember what his name was. I, I watched a breakdown video yeah. or something. And uh well, but that that character 
And that actor that played, I don't know if it's just the actor that plays that character or how that he portrayed well, that character. I fucking loved him. One man. of the things I really loved about that is like their mannerisms reflected like their oh, animal yeah. tribes Very much so well. well. And this is such a, like like we've talked a little bit about the diversity of this film, but I feel like we could talk about it a little deeper. This, this film gives every walk of life. A, a fair shot, I yeah. feel. I mean, we we go to Korea. We see how they live. We, mm-hmm. we spend some time in America. Uh, we go, London. there's London, uh, and then of course Africa. We see some uh, like what people would think of as Africa as the trees and the people with the baskets on their head. And then when we get to see African city life, and while in Wakanda, it's far more advanced than anything we could ever achieve right now. It is still like African life oh, yeah. in, in their cities. Well, that, that's, that's what I was about to was mention. Was I like how when they're walking down the street, like that guy had the big lip plate. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, there's people with like the face tattoos and stuff, but, but they also had one of those Wakanda devices with a with a projector yeah. and stuff well, on it. That guy one's was wearing, the... One dude's wearing a fedora. I mean, you had kind of almost like Wakandan hipsters in there. And shit. Like, it was, <laughs> well, was, it say... was this weird but really like pleasant mix of <laughs> yeah. of of like Everything. of a big city it, that you'd see in the middle of America and shit with this like technical technologically advanced African village Third world. like it, it was like it didn't seem like it was like a weird mismatch it blended well together yeah. like it looked like that was real you know it, what I mean like it, that was it was it was a movie about bringing everyone together, bringing every idea together, yeah. about embracing what humanity can be, whether uh, rather than what each nation can achieve on their own. Yeah. Well, that's like that the final speech of the movie, which, guys, there there is a mid-credits and an end-credits scene. And we'll talk about the end-credits scene at the end of this, yeah. but you're about to go into the like, mid and, The mid-credits yeah. scene, like, T'Challa is addressing the UN, making a statement like, hey, we're sharing our resources now for the first time in yeah. history. Oh, which, hey, oh, hey, by the way, we're sitting on fucking, like, <laughs> yeah. leaps ahead of what mankind if has you, so If now. you didn't know, uh, uh, Wakanda... Our bad. Yeah. You know? If you didn't like, know, Wakanda is a hidden nation, and they are, like, superiorly... Uh, superior. We're essentially Themyscarians. Technologically okay. advanced. Hella good tech. See that guy sitting in the back of the room? Yeah, he took a bullet to his, like, fifth yeah. vertebrae. That dude would have been fine. paralyzed. Yeah. And now uh, he's up there doing jumping jacks and sit-ups and shit. But yeah, they are, they are playing a little bit ago. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> they he are didn't even try to fly the plane. <laughs> He sat in a room. <laughs> he just it's sat in a room. That, oh, he looked skywalking that motherfucker. Let's, although, but no, and like, okay, that situation <laughs> was a lot more intense than what we make it sound because no, at the same but, time, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, at the same was, time, yeah. there was a plane outside of the room that he's actually in firing on that room, breaking down Whoa. the shields, and he's like about to die, oh, yeah. but he decides to stick with the like drone plane and, and fucking finish his mission. Before getting the hell out oh, of there. I'm not, I'm not saying it was we're a talking about scene. Martin. We're I'm talking about Martin Freeman, by the way. We're talking about uh, Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo. We're talking about the original we're Jim about from... Watson. We're talking about Jim from the original office in Britain. Watson. You <laughs> Jim. Sherlock with uh, Doctor oh, yeah. Strange. Yep. Oh, yeah. No. Dude, believe me. I've... I watched I watched Sherlock a while ago. I haven't watched the new I was, season yet. I, I'm one of the motherfuckers I've waited for a year and a half for a new episode. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I have not watched the show. You should. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been, I rec- I've been recommending You'd it really like long it. before yeah. Better to Come Back was... Cumberbatch was was announced for Doctor Strange. You mean C- uh, Cedric C- Slumber C- Patch? C- Cinnamon... Uh, Tender Blatch? For Cucumber? For Nan Cucumber? Cinnamon Cabbage Patch. Oh. What were we talking about? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, the, their technology. Oh, oh yeah. The yes, technology. Okay, yeah. They have just a little oh, stone we in their in hand that has projections. Yeah, we were, no, we were talking about that in credits. Yeah. 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 Nothing coming but out. But like, he, he goes to the UN and says, like, we're sharing our technology with the world. To make the world a better place, not not to yeah. further any. Imagine wars. watching porn on those things. <laughs> like, oh my god! I'm it's sorry. right there. It's right there while you're I'm jerking sorry, it. But while I'm watching this movie, <laughs> and like they have like not just projections. It looks oh like a god. little miniature that's created from these little nano bits. And I'm like, 
Does anyone want to watch porn on this besides me? <laughs> I absolutely do. <laughs> That's beside the point. Okay. Uh, uh, back to the moving speech, Hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and the as he as he's ending his speech as you know this nice diplomat bringing you know these leaps and bounds to the entire world. One of the assholes sitting there is like. What could a third world country like Wakanda possibly offer the rest of the world? And he just smiles. The best porn you've ever imagined. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. That's all. Like, no. Everyone Uh, gets one of those. And it tunes in the porn. And a free subscription to Pornhub for three months. And they can afford it. They're rich, but they can't fucking afford everybody for a year, (laughs) man. Three months tops. That's all you get. After that, you gotta pay. you know what, though? No, that is actually getting a little nerdy. Nerdy? That is not an accurate statement. They can sell like a pound of, of vibranium and pay for all oh, that God, yeah. for a year. I mean, considering, yeah. like, I was thinking about this while the movie's playing. Like, they went through all that trouble to steal that little, like, fucking pickaxe or whatever that was. Made of vibranium, you know I mean? yeah. The, and I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, all right, he had to pay off, you know what I mean? Killmonger's girlfriend. She had to be paid for her part. Mm-hmm. Killmonger had to be paid for his part. Plus, they had to acquire a ambulance. They had a he had to pay the other couple guys. Like, there's a lot of money went into just stealing this motherfucker, and it wasn't even the full artifact. He yeah. breaks the damn handle off it. He just wants that chuck of fucking vibranium. Yeah, well, how much can that go for? That's be a I fucking mean, lot. Yeah, well, These motherfuckers are sitting on a mountain. No, but yeah, y'all should share it, bro. A briefcase <laughs> full of diamonds. Is yeah, what it was and did be. you notice it getting shot in diamonds and pouring out, and no one cared? It's just like, <laughs> and how is it? It must have been packed with diamonds because it got shot like middle of the briefcase, and they were pouring out like it was well, like. To be fair, I mean, shots are being fired. What are you gonna do? Dive into the shots for the diamonds? Uh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Just that drop on the so, ground <laughs> with the okay, diamonds. I'd Why take do you a, gotta block them? I'd take a bullet for a If you have enough time to pick up a like to to raise that briefcase to your face while bullets being fired, you have enough time to drop. With those fucking diamonds and not lose a diamond. And fucking scurry your own way out of there. Shimmy on out of there. About have, have you ever had a man with a laser cannon shooting if a I had gun a at you? Laser... All right. You know so you don't know what that situation is like. I have, actually. Bob. You've never been Whoa. to Christmas with my wow. family. Bob, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Have you seen Becky's sisters before? Yes. I guarantee they'll kill somebody with a laser cannon. At the very least, a spork. <laughs> Let's, uh, uh, what? Let's talk suits. Let's talk suits. Yeah. Like, okay, okay, that green suit the fucking lip guy was wearing. Was <laughs> Not that fly. suit. <laughs> that was a Shit, great that suit. Why do you that. give a suit like that in Africa? Obviously, Wakanda. Oh my god! I gotta okay. bring the levels down on this so bad. I'm sorry. I keep feeling like I need to speak loud since I'm in the back seat. So probably this whole podcast, I'm either way too quiet or way too loud. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I've been watching. It's okay. Here. I've started uh, actually using uh, like I've I've started like I'll edit it on this program and then I'll transfer You're it not over. Just trimming shit off. You're actually like yeah. I'm taking it sound. over to Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm using their sound effects to to equalize it out and shit. Can you make me sound really? Really deeper than what I am. I now. probably can. I could probably sound like. I can movie. also make you sound like you're in a tin can. Do you know the way? No, no, no! Can you make me sound really high pitched? All that's getting cut out. It probably. <laughs> All right. So Wait. yeah. Uh, yeah, penises. <laughs> Sorry. Well, penises have to, nothing to do with these. Well, I had they're... to fuck up your lead in. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're we're talking suits, and it uh, we, we finally got an explanation for why, like the different suit. Yeah, because that was uh, for some reason that was a big question leading well, into well, this besides movie. the fact that it's a new Marvel movie and they need new toys, well, they had to have a reason, of course, because it was purple. like okay in, in this in Civil War we saw his suit and everything, mm-hmm. and he even started out with that in this movie, but then in the trailers you see like there's just this purple. Yeah, to, to his suit, and there's yeah. like the gold to kill Mongo. We had no idea and what that was about. Yeah, yeah, no one like I just assumed that it was part of the new vibranium mesh or something like that. I thought maybe it was some sort of shield, which I guess I was kind of right about, but yeah. Uh, and it's like okay, so obviously vibranium is bulletproof, it, and it in its own right absorbs a lot of kinetic energy from a fucking rhino charge, for example. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and those we're going to talk rhinos. about those rhinos here in a minute. So we're gonna talk about those rhinos. The these new suits that uh, Black Panther and Killmonger are wearing can absorb this kinetic energy and re-release it as almost like a giant energy blast. Shit, we need to talk about why Killmonger is even wearing this suit too. So, but. Okay. Well, and yeah. Do we want to finish talking about the suits, or do we want to go right into that? Okay, well, I mean, it, it applies the suits. Okay, yeah. real quick. The the whole, na- like, nanobot suit, his sister showed to him literally, like, the day before Killmonger showed up. How did Killmonger <laughs> get his own customized suit with the, like, leopard prints and shit well, on it? Well, they're, they're do so. I, I know that he has access to it, well, but in that amount of time. In like one day's no, worth, he did, had the suit. There were three, or a few days, whatever. There were the three mannequins there. The one had T'Challa's suit that he was wearing at the beginning of the movie. Oh, that's yeah. right, that's the right. One that, she had she the asked about the necklaces. I yeah. didn't think about inside that necklace. Yeah, because he suit. says yeah. it's yeah. Uh, the point is to be yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, stealthy, yeah. and so that's to why he didn't want to go out. for the flashy the gold, gold one, which Killmonger eventually wears. Yeah, I think they think that we're out here making out or something. They have flashlights. <laughs> And the windows are foggy. They have flashlights. And it's like one o'clock in the morning. Why do they have flashlights? <laughs> well, because they're lonely, and it's one o'clock in the morning, and they work at a movie theater. Don't fucking judge. In them. fifteen minutes, we're over the time Odell wanted to stop recording. Okay. Well, they must get back to it. Uh, Let's quit getting us off track. Guys. So, but yeah, no. Uh, the reason uh, Killmonger is in this suit is because. There is a, a a trial battle for the king of Wakanda, in which the Black Panther has to sacrifice his powers and actually win a fight, which he does earlier in the film. And then later, when Michael B. Jordan makes his uh, first appearance in Wakanda, he, he claims his blood right yeah, to the challenge. And, is that because he's older than T'Challa? Like I didn't understand. Why no, no, he had... I think he's young. I want to say he's younger. I'd say. He, well, I then think why? He's then why did he? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Because yeah, never he's. Mind. I, I answered my own question okay. before I even said it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. He uh, the two fight and he ends up besting T'Challa in a very gruesome way. Oh man! It's oh, yeah. it's one of those moments. It, you like you know you're watching the Black Panther film. You know that the title character is. Going to win in the end. Yeah. But, but at the same time, each of those slices yeah. made me cringe. And then when he picks him up in that fireman's carry Samoan drop mm-hmm. type thing and then throws him off of a you're, fucking waterfall, you, like, I'm you feel fuck. You and feel you defeated. You feel yeah. like, oh my god, we just lost and the for, Black Panther. And for a few minutes there, you think like how are we how's he gonna win at the end of this now? Like yeah. he's at the bottom of Because well, because the movie does progress without him for like oh, yeah. what, fifteen minutes, half an hour? At least. Yeah. I don't think it was quite that long. It wasn't I don't think it was quite half I don't think it was quite a half hour, but like fifteen, Maybe twenty minutes. 15 minutes or so, the yeah. movie's going on yeah. before like anything resurfaces. Plenty of stuff happens in between you that. Know, yeah. Leave leaving some of those good bits out from all that. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously the you Black Panther T'Challa <laughs> does come back. Yeah. But the lead up to that is, I thought that was one of the better parts of you, the movie. You know, I wasn't sure until the the credits told me the Black Panther will return in Infinity War, and then I knew. No, that's man. when I knew. That's that's the <laughs> only <laughs> way to be safe. I, I saw him win the final battle against Killmonger, but it was only in the credits and that I knew. Like while we're still kind of on the subject <laughs> of Killmonger, okay, the the fucking. Warriors, they had him in that like the the lance lock thing mm-hmm. where like they're about to snatch the necklace off. Yeah. yeah, and then he just busts free. So like in a short amount of time, he has like learned the abilities of this suit, like and is a very powerful adversary, mm-hmm. taking on several of these trained well, warriors. While the suit is technologically advanced, it's not like an Iron Man suit where you have to know all the little ins and outs and that it yeah. has these flares Plus, and stuff. He you really like just have He's extremely trained. Like, yeah. He's a fucking like, killing machine. Like, he is a lethal weapon all in his own well, butt ass naked. He not former, like, Black Ops or something like he that? He was, yeah. like, military, Navy SEAL, Black Op, yeah. Covert Op, like, into this. He's ass- a jack of like, all kills. He, <laughs> yes. Like, that is a great way to put it. Yeah. Holy shit, I love that. He, he He's a jack all. of all kills. Um, Real quick, uh, whenever he wound up taking 
over the throne. And he got, essentially, the whole Wakandan army behind him. Well, it or wasn't, no, it the, wasn't Wakandans. the Wakandans. It they was, were the other tribe. Never mind. Like the I keep bringing tribe. up points that I answer myself before I even <laughs> ask the question. My question was, we're going to get to is, okay, once T'Challa takes back over the throne, is he over there like, all oh, y'all motherfuckers were trying to fight me. Like, <laughs> that is a you're good all question. fired. I Every feel, one of y'all. I feel like... If, like, if that were me, I'd be like, all right, we're going to go ahead and take out this tribe. You get to be yeah. the ones who you live up like, in the tribes, snow yeah, now. Yeah, get the fuck up in the mountains. <laughs> and the dudes, the dudes come they on collected, the yeah, they collected me up and heal, like, help keep me alive. Which, come on, which, by the way, you're, you're I want to ask, did, does each tribe have their own, like, essentially, like, spirit animal? Yes. And if so, mm-hmm. do they all have a giant one, like, carved out of the face of a fucking cave? Because I hope the so. gorilla dudes did and the panthers did. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, the rhino people had giant fucking rhinos. Okay, let's talk about some rhinos. Let's talk about some motherfucking battle rhinos. Like okay. armored, battled, fucking giant battle paint. Like as big awesome. as a Wakandan sh- like airship. Yeah. Rhino. I mean, we're we're talking huge fucking rhinos here. Like and- rhinos in their own right. Are fucking huge animals, and we get we end up in this whole like big battle. The uh, the ar- or, or, or what are the royal guard of yeah. Wakanda? I want to say the royal the bald chicks. Yeah, the, the royal guard. Yeah, of Wakanda and uh, pretty much just Black Panther are up against this whole army, and they're winning until the fucking betrayer dude, the Judas. Uh, tribe. The Judas polka dot face guy. Blows his fucking horn and summons Here these rhinos. These three giant <laughs> oh fucking rhinos. Earlier, earlier in the movie when they showed the rhino, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, this is Disney and Marvel. They bet, probably spent millions and millions on this movie. They could well, have dished out a little bit to have a real rhino. It's, it's, why can't they have a real rhino? And then that scene happened, I'm like, that's why you can't have a real rhino. It's, <laughs> it's the Chekhov's gun rule. You don't introduce something into a film unless you intend to use it. Yeah, It'd right. be like I don't a know. character... I just, I just felt like it was more of like, hey... You do remember we're in Africa, right? There is wildlife here. Well, here. but the thing <laughs> is... You know he's... what? Why why couldn't we have battled giraffes? Huh? Ooh. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. That would be pretty great. Have you ever seen we're... giraffes fight each other? They fucking, like, smack each other with their heads and, like, wrap each other's necks around each other. Like, they're fucking... It's, it's, okay. They're not screwing around. No. Yeah. But the the rhino, the scene that we oh, first I want to tribe with fucking giraffes <laughs> and with the stretched necks like those tribes. You know what I'm talking about? Hey. Why don't they do that? Oh there, my god, the tribes there, may be giraffes. This was, as so far, in just, like, well, as of recording this, in one day, has been a very successful film. So there's a possibility for a, all giraffe sequel. They're better. <laughs> so, like Madagascar. Jeffrey. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, like, we're introduced to the rhino maybe, like, not even halfway through the movie. I'd mm-hmm. say maybe... Yeah. A third of the way through the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see the rhino in one of the village pens or whatever, and they make the comment that it's still growing. Like, oh, so that was... Oh, oh, I didn't catch that. So yeah. That was, yeah, I didn't catch that Like, either. because uh, Kiyoki or Karaoke, whatever her fucking name is... Michonne? Uh, Michonne gives it, like, an apple or some shit. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. No, seen... T'Challa does. Yeah. Because no she, wait, Captain America does. Uh, she, uh, so uh, Ben Affleck does. Human I don't Torch. Know. I mean, Killmonger. <laughs> I mean, wait, Human Torch is Captain America. What wait, 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 I don't know anymore. Rhino. Uh, and now they're all owned by the same It's people. mouth. Mouth from the it. Goonies gives him an apple. Look at all these sound spikes. <laughs> We suck at this. We're we're terrible podcasters. <laughs> at least it's only like our second episode, right? <laughs> yeah, right. We're only a, we're only one or two in. So uh, but yeah, like they make the comment yeah. about it still growing, and then here they come in that battle, just knocking these bitches into the sky. Mm-hmm. And then what does Black Panther do? Motherfucker just jumps in and takes down <laughs> one of these battle rhinos. I even said it to Vin. I'm like, this motherfucker just wrestled a rhino in like two seconds. 
He just jumps up, grabs that motherfucker, slams him down like shit. Yeah, he right took out. him down. Oh, <laughs> That's wow. That's why I don't understand but why any of the other movie, ones are a problem. You took if, down a rhino in five seconds. This bro. movie effectively set Black Panther up as, as I'm going to go ahead and say, it, the most powerful character in like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe so far. Obviously, we got Thanos and Captain I Marvel we, coming. I think we but, just throw him against Thanos alone and, like, him and Jessica Jones together, they got this. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't like. I, honestly, I don't think Captain America holds a candle to fucking oh Black God. Panther. No, at all. I think he's kind of saw a little bit of that in Civil War. Is like, whenever I can't remember who was running first. I think it's Cap running first, and then like when Black Panther jets past him with yes. like Bucky. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. There was a quick little preview. Like, oh shit. Okay, he's a badass. <laughs> Real quick, this thought just occurred to me because it happened with a rhino, and we saw what happened when he got hit Spider-Man. by one of the rhinos <laughs> and released that. Was that moment charge. that Spider Man showed up in the film? Yeah, that's what I'm like. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man threw the rhino at Black <laughs> Panther, and then Black Panther released that connect charge that knocked everyone. Damn. Okay. What Everything you said was true, was other than the Spider-Man it. thing. <laughs> Just for our listeners. No, nope, so. nope. Spider-Man was in this one. <laughs> Tom now. Holland. He was like, "Oi, mates! I'm, I'm, oh, I'm here to <laughs> throw a rod. Oh wait! <laughs> All right, Mickey. Oh wait! <laughs> That's Black Panther. I remember him as a bad guy. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> Mr. Captain, <laughs> Mr. Stark, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to my point. Okay, oh, we see what happens. No, <laughs> no you don't do it. Okay, we see what happens when Thor hits Cap's He's shield with the hammer. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. What would happen if Thor hit Black Panther with the hammer that he no longer has? Oh my god! And then releases that energy blast. That like, uh, and well, well, we're talking about kinetic energy, right? Like that's when it builds so, up and it can be released. Is, yeah, it's yeah. like so. It's, like the the longer he's like sustain, sustaining bullet hits, or like when yeah. they had him on the ground beating him, and it he just releases, builds up and builds, builds up until up. he. Yeah, that's kinetic energy. Right? What about the times yeah. he was hit a few times and then it kind of blew out that energy? You know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about? like with the like? There's that scene where he's coming down the hallway, going after Killmonger. And I think he turns around and shoots him with like I, a rocket well, launcher or with a grenade or something, and it fucking... And he I, already has a bunch of kinetic energy built up. His per, his whole fucking suit's almost purple by this point. I wonder mm-hmm. if that... Maybe it has a max? That, that's kind of what I think. Does it purge because, out if not? Because, I mean, he did cover a grenade. Because I had it like two or three times. So, this, and he well, had a grenade launched at there, him. There's, there's two ways it could work. It, it could have been just like kind of a knee-jerk reaction, like when he gets knocked for a loop or something, yeah. he loses a little yeah, control I'm, and then it happens. Or, that's, or, or it could just work to help out whatever the yeah. plot is trying to get to. Or, well, or it could <laughs> it, it could have that, uh, like, build up. Like, it, it's got a max capacity. So, to, purge, so not... to answer your question, if that's it, the max capacity thing, if Thor hit him with a hammer, <laughs> I feel like it'd be like a <laughs> nuclear fucking explosion. It would kill the Black Panther. I feel like the whole universe would just start folding because, well, because my my next thought was, did Killmonger hit him with a grenade, or did he use one no. of those sonic waves? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. That what was I want to know is if it he was to fall, does Black Ca- Black Panther always land on his feet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, we saw that it did not happen in that nope. last battle when nope. they're falling yep. for like twenty minutes in the air. Which, fighting, by which the way, badass. how awesome are free fall fights? Dude, like just in general. I felt like I felt like that was uh, in like Injustice or something. You know no, what I mean? Like, you're, what like, you're thinking of is uh, DC Universe versus Mortal exactly Kombat. That was yes. my yes. favorite thing about that game, where you could fight mid air. Yeah, but then wasn't and he did not land on his feet. Uh, he fucking flashpoint paradox. Yep. Where the yep. two flashes fight or no no it was in fucking the Flash show. Where Flash and Reverse Flash, the only way that he can find a way to actually oh, like, yeah. go yeah, head yeah, to head yeah, with him yeah, is yeah. in a free fall. I yep. forgot about Those that, are yeah. some of the coolest scenes. And I this love one, free fall fights so much. But like, I was thinking when they were talking about like the sonic dampening waves that allow the trains to move that fast with the vibranium. Yeah. Maybe that's what Killmonger shot at him and not a grenade. 
Maybe, uh, but there but, is a moment where he does absorb a grenade blast. He, yeah, he like jumps he on covers top that of a grenade, grenade. Yeah, and then you just see his whole suit light up. Just yeah, just take then, the whole like, thing, and he then goes, he just rushes off. And then when <laughs> yeah. he starts to go after Claw and Killmonger, mm-hmm. whatever Killmonger shoots at him, like that energy is just released. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it has a it, it has capacity. a max capacity because if he takes Ooh. a grenade launch. A grenade strike and can just keep moving. Then like again, they're... the the thing about the suit was like he hit it, and it, like when she Shuri was showing him what it did, mm. he hit it and it absorbed that energy. He hit it in the same spot, and it released it. Yeah. So with like bullet fire and like people beating him with clubs and swords and stuff being randomized hits, not necessarily in the same place Ooh. twice. You know what it probably is? A uh, plot device. Oh uh, well, I was gonna try and be kinder than that. You know what it is? Technology far beyond our own that we can't possibly <laughs> understand. That's so right. three schmucks with a shitty <laughs> podcast in a van outside a movie theater probably aren't gonna crack it's the mysteries of this suit. Oh my god! Can we start calling the calling these reviews three schmucks in a van? Oh my god! You know what? If we weren't already like four deep, sure. But yeah, yeah. like it's a little late now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where uh, yeah, where were you on the first one? <laughs> you we were, were here, but we weren't, yeah. we weren't in a van for the first one. The no. first one we did in the van was Justice League, <laughs> which you guys can actually hear on YouTube and SoundCloud. Link below. I don't know if I'll include the link. Or iTunes. I don't know. If you're on YouTube, I'll probably add one of those little i button things that like says, "Oh, here's here's the fucking Justice League." It, thing. It, it and it just item? pops up. Hey, that's Tom seconds. Holland. Please, it's Tom Holland. Click on our link and, and watch our Justice League review. I'm Tom Holland and I'm Spider-Man. Please, sir, can I have some more? No, that's not as good. You sound nothing like you, Modal. You try. I was dead on. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, is there anything else you guys want to bring up about this movie? Um... Michonne was more of a badass in here than she's oh ever been. Oh my god, yeah, and she's uh, a Chadwick pretty big badass. Like, yeah. Panther, uh, Killmonger is <clears> dope. <throat> um, I'm not a single it? character fell short. I, I think, uh, in my opinion, oh, oh. the only one that like I think it's just like I just granted I don't really know the character from comics is Claw. Like I don't know, some of his jokes just seemed like a bit. He was it was a bit too over the top. So and what, like there was what one you part I'm not saying. sure if I thought was funny or extremely annoying, and that was when he's like, he says something about his mixtape. He's like, oh yeah, well, I'll send you a link so to my SoundCloud. And what you're else. saying is that you can't sanction his buffoonery. Uh, I can sanction it, but but you don't want to. Do, but, tell me you got that reference but in, though. But in a little, little amounts. Do what now? Did you get that reference? What what no. Okay, Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I do, I do you understand. should watch the newest Nostalgia Critic. He did Batman Forever. It's hilarious. Did, uh, yeah. uh, but, yeah, but actually, yes, I have heard that that uh, line. That story, yeah. Yes, that yeah. The story from about Tommy Lee Jones, yes. Okay. <laughs> it was just uh, two deep cuts for me, and there was no... <laughs> There was like, no, like, really, like, hard it's only, link in between. Yeah. It just, it's only because I just saw that fucking review the other day. Anyways. All right. But, but other than that, really, I, overall, I thoroughly, like, I feel like this is one of those mm-hmm. movies, if I don't wind up coming back and seeing it a second time, I'm going to be looking for it as soon as yeah. it comes out. I'm, I'm seeing back. it again tomorrow. Are you? I, uh, you, uh, with I'm Jeff, seeing yeah. it a second oh, time, so but to I'm not going to tell you guys how, and it's going to be a special feature after the uh, credits, of, uh, after the outro song of this, which all is that. Is it going to be a post credit scene that's better there's than gonna be, post There's going to be a post credit scene post- to this review. Which, by the way, you guys never talked about the post credit scene that you wanted to wait to well, talk about. Oh, yeah. no. Well, well yeah. Well, we're well, here. here we are. Yeah. Here so, we are at the end. Bucky. Yeah, Bucky like is the we, and we know. Beautiful. Hair. And the now thing is, I want to say this. Him. I want to say this. 
both of you were like, no, no, it's Captain America. But well, the no, first no, no. thing I as said was Captain... As soon as you Cap- said Bucky, I'm you like, said, That's too, to me it seemed too obvious. You, you well, looked me directly in the eyes, both of you, and you said, no, you're a stupid idiot. I hate you, and it's not Bucky. It'll never be Bucky. That was we're, before the movie We're way smarter than you are. And then what happened? It was Bucky, and you both cried. What, Immediately. Well, you don't know whether or not Cap was still in that hut or not. He just didn't come out. I think they were both in there. Now, we, this is a pretty small hut, too, so hey, they were... Hey, <laughs> who, who am I to judge what Cap and Bucky do? It Maybe makes, times are different back in World War Two and shit. It and makes sense that they delivered on Bucky, though, because they mention him during the movie. Yeah, yeah. When they're talking about Martin Freeman, oh, another, like, white boy to take care of or something like right. that. See, I Wait, didn't catch that reference. I did. I don't know why, but I didn't catch that. I even said to myself out because, loud, I'm like, who are they talking about? Yeah, because uh, as they're wheeling Martin Freeman in, Shuri, like, uncovers him. Great. I heard her white say that, ticket, but I didn't, I, I didn't understand. I'm like, who is oh, the other white Oh, I think boy? the reason I didn't hear it is because I, I think it was just coming in just after they wheeled him in. I think you might have yeah, been. Because I went uh, to pee. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, you weren't in there. Yeah. But, like, I caught that, and I'm like, okay, well, they still got him in, like, that chamber no. upstairs or something like that. I kind of He's... forgot about Bucky even being in Wakanda. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I did, uh, like, I put on uh, Civil War the other day just to have something on while I worked on stuff. And uh, so, I don't know. Maybe that's why it was See, fresh I think, that, me, I think but... that's, a th- that's one thing that throws me off sometimes is, like, whenever they do finally connect something that happened a few Marvel movies before, I'm like, oh, yeah, that did happen, didn't it? Yeah. And I, we, I and we did that, need this uh, end credits Bucky scene to kind of tie into Infinity War because yeah. uh, well, while I hope there is a little bit of a Wakanda <laughs> scene in Infinity War, not that, like, it needs oh, any more scenes there's because there's going to be tons. Scene. It shows it right in well, the trailer. Well, no, right? I mean, uh, uh, involving mean Bucky than, getting than, his arm. More yeah. than just the... The conflict that happens. Yeah. yeah uh, involving Bucky getting his arm and all that and, and shit. So we needed this kind of little snippet to link them together just right. a little bit. So it wasn't just a jarring thing. Because it's like, okay, at the end of Civil War, Bucky is being aided by the Wakanda to, like, get rid of the, the brainwashing shit. Mm-hmm. And now he's back in Infinity War. Yeah. No. Like, well, having well, at that the end of At the tie, end of uh, Civil War, the last shot is, like, isn't it? He's Cap and isn't it Cap and, and Black Panther standing there yeah, talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it pans out and then it shows the giant actual Black Panther Vibranium and all that. Yeah, yeah. Black yeah. Panther, yeah. I was trying to what movie that was. I like. have an Infinity War prediction because a lot of the things that are roaming around Thanos right now. Will be there. <sighs> you ruined yeah, it. You fucking ruined it. He's going to have a glove. I would, that isn't even what I was going to say. That's just some in, insider information. We all signed an NDA. And uh, me, bitches. Fuck y'all. Well, you signed it. You just signed it to see more butts. I just, <laughs> and I so... just threw a dick in the signature sign. <laughs> uh, anyways, no, my Infinity War prediction is because a lot of the shit that's going around is calling uh, Steve Rogers Nomad. And shortly after he becomes Nomad, he comes back and then eventually he dies. I'm thinking Captain America is the one who dies in Infinity War and Bucky Barnes takes over. As Captain America. Didn't Bucky take over the mantle as Nomad? Yes. Didn't Bucky take over the mantle as Nomad, though, for a while, too? But, yeah, I'm, but no, but he also took over as Captain America. I know, I know. Yeah, for a while. I'm just saying, like, yeah. you know I think that, I have some Nomad that issues. That has been flying around for a while, right? I'm only just now coming up with it in this car right what, now cap, because cap, I don't read rumor posts, Odal, because I don't fucking oh, care. Yeah, the, 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 the Cap rumor and yeah. even... Uh, like, Cap dies, Bucky been, picks up the shield. Yeah, has been there's been a lot like, of shit floating around for a while. Years. Here's the reason. As a man, as, as from, from a man that actually spends a lot of a lot of time, like trying to keep up with with what's going on in in, in our in the nerd fandom. news on sort of my comics, which you can follow right now on on Facebook. I don't even follow. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I'm just it is. Uh, I'm, I'm still a fucking admin of the page. Of you well, you can be an admin and not following the page, but anyways. I can't uh, tell. Anytime I type it in, it just <laughs> automatically makes me in charge. Sometimes I just want to like and share a fucking link. On you my can phone. choose to like it as yourself from your phone. I've explained this to both of you. I know how to share times. it as myself. I don't know how to like it. I'm as just, you know what? 
I just feel very. I always watch feel like a fucking very YouTube <laughs> tutorial. And I'm done. I don't even know how to search for something on YouTube. How do you do that? Here's the and thing. Cue that. No. Here's the thing. I don't like. Okay, you're 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 bringing up sort of like comics. I don't post those rumor posts because I would have to read them. And I'm not saying post them. I'm just saying like, you haven't heard that that. No, it's because even, that would... It's at the point now where it's like, I think it might just be legit. It was an insider leak yeah. because it's so heavy anymore. Uh, like, if I see rumor on the article, I'm just done. I, like, I don't... One, I don't want it spoiled for me. That, like, first and foremost. Two, it's just, I don't want to waste my time on something that might may or, or may, may not, not be. Out. Yeah, and, and, like, I mean, maybe that's anti-nerd. He doesn't want to waste his time on it until he predicts it and then says... What was the thought I had just now? <laughs> well, but you I know what? Twenty five percent of the world's population already heard you this. You know what? In- but you know what? I'm proclaiming it now <laughs> tonight. You know what? In, in a in a show that requires me to sense. to share my thoughts, I'm not. Ju- I'm just not going to share my thoughts anymore. I'm. Don't do it. I'm Don't gonna. I'm gonna state a title from now on. I'm just gonna drop a fucking no. topic title Only and let everyone discuss it, and then they go. Have to be proven facts coming out of your mouth. And then go. No mm-hmm, and move on to the next one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, looking forward to the next episode of SMP where I'm an automaton. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for us, right? Uh, anything yeah. else you guys want to bring up? Anything I poignant about the film? Yeah, I do too. It was racist. They they called Bucky White Wolf. They called Bucky White. Was it White Wolf? White Wolf. White Wolf. (laughs) Oh my God. You had to bring that up. We we all. At the same time. That's racist. All said it. That was racist. As soon as that. Like we. Like we get to talk. (laughs) We went the whole movie. And see, that's that's the thing about. Okay, there is one more thing about this film. It is like, okay, it does have a lot of. Uh, cultural significance to the world today. Like it, it talks about the world. Dude, they as talked it's about been. they talked about taking in refugees. Yeah. Yes. That was a that was actually a, a huge scene right there yeah. where he was saying why make the world's problems our own. But it, it has a lot of cultural refer uh, uh the <laughs> significance. Yes. I, I wanted to say an R word but I, I was looking for significance. There's a lot of cultural significance. It, relevance uh, is what you're looking for, I believe. Relevance, yes. Anyways, it, it, a lot of uh, racial-fueled uh, commentary that we just can't talk about. We're three, like, what are we? See, we're and, three and white that's guys, one thing you know? I even thought about going into this movie. It's like, you know what? So far, I love this movie. Visually, it's great. I like the story so far. I love the actors. But, like, one thing I can't comment on that I've heard a lot of people comment on mm-hmm. that are black is like culturally or like this is such a big movie for them. So if, if that's or what like you're looking such for, a, it's such like there, there's so many little things where it's like, oh, my God, they took they took visuals and like patterns even. Yeah. Of, of very traditional things and molded them slightly to be more modern or like tie into this like, futuristic technology. Like the graffiti or, look in yeah, the, yeah, yes, yeah, in exactly. the yeah. lab. Or even like just some of the some of the clothing and apparel and wardrobe from this movie and stuff. It's like just, when they went to the different areas, yeah, how was, they wanted to look appropriate. So, so yeah, I completely agree. We were not able to comment on that. So if but you are as looking... three white dudes, I feel like I felt yeah. like this was a very culturally open movie yes and it, it gave a lot of like badassery and power to Absolutely. a group of people that sometimes don't always get that which which is just so fucking uh, i almost said a uh, culturally insensitive word yeah. i guess but so stupid yeah. just like come on it's 2018 let's just get the fuck over it already because we've got other shit to worry about like colonizing mars and not blowing each other up uh okay so if we have nothing else to say about the film i think we're gonna go ahead and cut it here again guys please uh you know check out our facebook pages sort of my brand sort of my comics sort of my podcast on instagram sort of my podcast on twitter uh personal social medias are down below but most importantly comment and share these are the two things that one get us involved with you, and we love we love talking to you guys about these things. Like, you know, just throw any of your Black Panther thoughts down in the comments below. The movie, and, not the not the movement. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Go ahead and share your 1970s yeah. Black Panther thoughts down below. Uh, but, yeah, we love talking to you guys about anything nerdy or just anything in general. But uh, sharing is what's going to help us grow. That That's going to help us get more subscribers. That's going to help us. Milk helps uh, you grow, too. <laughs> Well, that no, that helps your bones grow healthy. Well, how are you supposed to grow if your bones don't grow? <laughs> then you'll just be a lot of loose skin. Um, I don't know, fucking, you know, biology. <laughs> fucking what kind? That of one, science? I am right. Yeah, fucking Scientology. Um, Ooh, you know? <laughs> Fuck. But more and try and quote more science stuff. Orthodontry. Hey, did you guys catch the latest sports match at the at the winter? Uh, goal game. The X Games. Sean White is killing it right now. He really <laughs> but, is. but uh, I'm Vincent Herman. Uh, no, 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 you're not. <laughs> nope, nope. I'm Vincent Herman, been the human. James Odell, Alpha Specter. Who are you? I'm Bob Collins, and I'm pretty sure I'm Boba Fett, but I kind of want to be Alpha Specter now. All right, well, well you Alpha, know, human. we can talk about that after. <laughs> You're wanting to alpha fetch. You're wanting to fusion it, and that's a whole Dragon Ball thing. We gotta work that out. We'll be like a Megazord. But now let's cue that tribal outro music. So what I'm doing here is uh, I have my mom here. Say hello. Hello. All right. And my sister. What's up? Miranda Herman, Sue Howard. And uh, we just went and saw a movie. Now, we were supposed to go see Black Panther, but my mom was ridiculously late by half an hour. Because of fun. Because of circumstances, it could not be helped. Well, it it worked out because there were we had a second option, and it started at like just about the same time she got there. So we went and we saw Jumanji, uh, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, surprisingly, the song doesn't play until the credits. But uh, what did you guys think of it? You guys, I know you guys enjoyed yourselves because you laughed enough. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, first of all, I love Kevin Hart, and oh, yeah. he's fucking yeah. hilarious. Uh, he was pretty funny. He was Kevin Hart. And so. The Rock is always very nice <laughs> to look at. <laughs> uh, I liked I liked how he sold the the wimpiness and all that to like being as big as he is. It just made it a lot funnier when like a squirrel scares him or something. Right. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh, what did you think of uh, Jack Black? He was always, he's always funny, but yeah. to be acting like a girl makes it even better. And well, not just like, well, not just I think any it was girl. Hilarious. I think it was hilarious when he was saying hello to his new body parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there is, uh, this is all spoilers, by the way. Uh, there is a scene in there where uh, he has to pee, but, you know, he, he's this he's valley shocked. girl type thing, which isn't. I guess Valley Girl isn't a thing anymore. That's just how I know it as. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's got to pee and uh, never use her, his, her, I don't know, penis. So <laughs> it was pretty funny. Shocked he's not Instagramming. She it. had, yeah, she had to have the other guys tell her how it worked. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Um, it was surprisingly, uh, it was a much better movie than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, when I saw the trailers, I was like, you know, it's going to be predictable. It was a little bit, but it was it was fun. Uh, anything you guys didn't like about the movie? No. No, no? not really. No? I just really kind of was shocked how, like, from the first movie of Jumanji, that it was all nothing but board game. And yeah. then all of a sudden now we're in these cartridges just out yeah. of random. And even when it first came on, it showed the board in the game when the boy first opened it. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I thought that was a little weird. I can kind of get yeah. over it that, like, it's <laughs> like it starts in 1996. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it, at the end of the, the first Jumanji, didn't they throw it into the ocean or something? Mm -hmm. And then it washed up on a beach. And that's pretty much where this movie picks up. Yeah, right. Is on the beach, someone else finds the game. And it washes it up with cartridge. And... Yeah. <laughs> and, well, no, no, no it, it washed up as the actual game. Um, <laughs> 
But yeah, this kid gets the game, but he doesn't care because it's not a video game. So overnight, it transforms itself into a console and a cartridge. <laughs> and so, yeah, that, that was a little weird, but I could wrap my head around it. What, right. I, what I can't wrap my head around is the ending where they they all finally get out of the game. But, uh, but for some reason, it sent the kid from 1996 back to 1996 and then just totally rewrote history. And right. It doesn't seem like... Right, the, I, yeah. I was confused on that, too, because, like, dude's now an adult, and he's got a family, but yet, they were supposed to be in the 1996, where yeah. he sent back to you, and now everything's okay and hunky-dory, and he named the kid, one of his Bethany. kids, Yeah, Bethany. after Bethany, the one... And uh, yet, they're still the normal in their Black. day and age, which is 20 years in advance of that, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, because... That's well, confusing. when Alan Parrish, in the first movie... <laughs> comes back out of the game he doesn't go all the way back to the no, 60s or whatever right. when he got sent into the game you know he comes out in the 90s and time has right. moved on without him so it's weird uh you know i, I know oh. that the game can somewhat affect the real world but just in the way that things can come out of the game oh, not all, it can actually rewrite history right <laughs> yeah. all in all though it's pretty awesome and really funny yeah uh up until that point i i was with the game it was or with the movie it was a it was a fun little ride. Um, I uh, what was that? Uh, the one guy, um, the villain. He was a little weird. Oh yeah, yeah. I it creeped me I out. He plays he that, plays the stepdad in Ant Man. Oh okay yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Well, it's kind of creepy when the scorpion's crawling on his ear. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> centipede, now, you mean? Yeah, the centipede. The scorpion yeah. came out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, this guy can sort of... apparently control all the animals in Jumanji, yeah. so. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a pretty fun movie. Uh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad we got to see it. Um, not that I would have hated seeing Black Panther again, but you know, I didn't get to see Jumanji when it first came out. So. Yeah, what, what was the little redhead girl's name? Um, While she was uh, in the game. Oh, uh, Ruby Roundhouse. Yeah, Ruby yeah. Roundhouse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was hilarious watching her. Become girly girly. <laughs> to go flirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she had to go learn how to flirt. Yeah. The biting the lip thing was my favorite. Yeah. That was my favorite hmm. part of the whole thing. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> it was really fun. Uh, anything else you guys want to say about the movie? Stood out to you? <laughs> Quite a bit. No. Yeah, I would say, like, if you can catch it in a matinee like we did, like, it was only six bucks, or in an art town on Tuesdays, they're five dollars all day. If you can catch it for that price, it's worth it. And it's been out for a while. Didn't it come out in December, I want to say? It's been out for a minute. Yeah, it's yeah. it's getting ready to go out of theaters. So if you haven't seen it yet and it's still playing where you're at, yeah, go I ahead and check it, it out. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And uh, thank you very much for listening to Sort of My Podcast, Sort of My Review. You, wanna, you guys want to say goodbye? Bye. Later.